Hey guys, this is Karma Wilmore. I'm the extension educator for the University of Idaho in Lincoln County. And today I'm gonna to have my husband, Alan Wilmore, who's a, a Jerome FFA Ag teacher, um, show us how to trim hooves. So we're gonna show you on our goat here, Mahogany. She's the perfect little model goat. She's really excited, you can tell. Uh, but we're gonna just show you how we trim our, our hooves on our goats. So we've had a few questions and so this should be a little bit of an example of a way to do it that works for us. Okay. First we need to do is clean it out. As you can see, we've let this go a little bit too far. All right, so biggest thing when we're doing this is we want to make sure that we follow. You'll have to excuse the mess. They're a little muddy outside. But we follow the hairline, right? So you see that angle there? We need to make sure that the bottom of the foot follows that angle, right? So what we'll do is I always start from the back and go forward. So I take off all this outside edge. There. Okay. Biggest thing when you're trimming feet is to make sure that everything is flat. Okay. We don't want to have anything rounded, right? Notice how that's flat and smooth. I'm going to take just a little bit more off here on the toe. Okay. And you can come up here and clean the heel. Like this. Now, you don't want to go too deep because this is live tissue. If you go too deep, you will hit that growing tissue and they could bleed. Opens it up and causes infection, which we definitely don't want. Okay. So you can see the before and after. There. Okay. Now I'll do the other foot. Hit the heel. Mostly just getting comfortable with all the different angles that you'll need to take while trimming their feet. Okay. Now I am by no means a professional at this. It's just a lot of experience and I watched a lot of YouTube videos. And then you want the toes to be fairly even, right? So if you line up the toes or line up the heels, the toes are fairly even down there. And then I just always check, set the foot down and make sure that the toes are even. One doesn't stick out further than the other. Okay, and you can see the other foot. We've got some work to do. The front foot, okay, so you grab. I tend to support them with my body. So we go ahead and clean this out. Front feet are always a little just bit more awkward for me. Okay. But we're gonna follow the same concepts, the angle of the hairline right at the top of the foot and the bottom of the foot need to be the same, right? You can see they're not. So again, we'll start from the back and go forward. Again, making sure that as we're trimming the feet, we're not creating any unnecessary curves. Again, trying to keep the, the bottom of the foot as flat as possible.
helps if you have really sharp clippers. Okay, so again, line up here and make sure you can see that this toe is just a little bit longer than the outside toe. All right, so what we're gonna do is just trim that down just a little bit more. Again, trying to make sure we stay as flat as possible. So again, we're more even there, and that's it.